Hey guys, RC here, back with Sim Airport, a noob taking off, and this is episode 13. Haven't recorded this in about a week because I usually record in chunks. If you're new to the channel through this series, welcome. Uh, but haven't recorded in about a week and a half. Most of that week and a half, I couldn't record anyway. We were with you know, without power uh or heat or something we are going through a uh, deep winter freeze some record lows uh hitting the houston area but uh certainly appreciate you guys dropping by if you like the content hit that like button subscribe and hit the notification bell for your notifications whenever an episode goes up uh football manager is my primary save i upload that six days a week this one I do try to upload once or twice a week at minimum. So don't think it's a neglected save. Just uh, it is not the priority save that I have going on. I usually try to do a, a second save uh, like this game uh, or something else that I'm playing, you know, that I find interesting that I want to share with you guys. But anyway... What is going on here? We're missing some staff. All right, we're going to hire the 10 staff. And I'm going to pause it because I don't think I needed to do that just yet. Because I think I remember why. Again, I have not recorded in some time. Let's zoom in here and kind of re-familiarize ourselves with what's going on. All right, we've got seating up here. This was the exit for this gate. All right, we've got two ticketing areas here. Baggage claim is set up. All right, what are they going up to? Okay, this is going up to offices. Cool. This is sales rep offices here. And, okay, we do have conference rooms going in up here. So we can start to negotiate with various... Airlines, we can put in some more um, offices up here for the airlines. If you have any tips on the negotiating, please let me know in the comments because everybody that I have watched always seems to get taken to the cleaners. And that's just how it goes. Uh, let's see, we do have, we have one small gate down here or two. And then we have the... Uh, what do they call that? Um, a remote gate. That's right. That's why it's R1. And then we have a large gate that we put in down here. This is for larger airlines. Just taking a look at our flights. So all of our flights are full. We do have an extra large gate. And I seem to recall that's going in over here all right i'm going to let this run in fact we'll put it on speed three well we'll put it on speed two while we catch up that way we can be generating some revenue all right one runway we've got this going in we've got the gate going in here under construction all right let's go let's go down and i need to kind of figure out where we're going from here All right, so we have this going up to offices. This goes down to the baggage claim. Correct, correct. Okay, I see where we're at. All right, so you'll come through ticketing here for this for this terminal, which is terminal A and the remote gate. Then we're gonna go down these escalators. I think I need to switch directions on that. And then that'll open up into this eating area also bathrooms okay and we'll assign those to a kitchen where is my kitchen over here all right kitchen assigned to we're going to go ahead and assign that to those three then we'll come out here and into here i don't want to open this until i've got the terminal open all right, we've got ticketing set up, right? All right, so they are building. Okay, yep, let's speed it up to three because, yeah, we got a lot to do here. All right, let's go into utilities, conveyors.
That's going to be a consumer, consumer from these baggage claims. We've got ticketing down here. What's our issue? Yeah, isolated and unreachable. That's okay. All right, so from here, I want some more foundation. Now, where is our property line? Right there. So right here. So we're going to come. We're going to go a four wide hallway. And our terminal is right about there. Okay. So we're going to come down to here. And what I'm going to do, what I think I'm going to do, let's do some planning. We're going to build security up here like that. And then we will build. I need to see what this is going to look like when they're done. But what I think we'll do is we'll build a hallway coming back with stairs, then coming up into here, and then that'll get them into the gate area. That's kind of what the game plan is. So we can't really do anything with that yet. We're 37,000 in the red. What's the deal? Why are you guys... Oh, you know why? I know why. We've got a lot of staff that can't get to their thing down here, right? So let's go ahead and open this. We're going to set that to a just an urgent priority. That's okay. And there come all of our staff people. Come on, guys. I said urgent. Yes, I did. There we go. All right. So we've got food in here, bathrooms. We're waiting on the doors, and then those will be fine. Yeah, that's why I didn't need to hire those 10 people yet, because they're just going to sit there and cost us money for a while but that's okay we won't be jerks and fire them right away but we do need to get some money rolling in so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pause the recording here jump ahead until some of this construction is done and we've got a little more money and then you guys aren't missing out on anything waiting for stuff to happen <laughs> All right, guys, we are back. I've got the game running. We are on day 46. Just, you know, we've gone uh, four days. So we've gotten our bonus, uh, perfect ops bonus every day. So I think this terminal is set. We don't want to mess with that. We want to expand out. And I do need some more money, but let's dive in here. So remember, we have these stairs going down. We now have escalators. We will have to hire some people here. Oh, you know what? There was... Why is there no wall there? I don't know. I think we were going to put some... Oh, no, we weren't. I don't know what we were going to put up here. Oh, well. We'll figure it out. It's some 5 by 5 spaces. We'll do something. So you'll come down through here, down into ticketing, which has baggage already set up. I do need to double check the return baggage. I would like to put uh, moving walkways down here, but we'll do that. Oh, you know what I need to put if we're not going to do anything right now? I need to build the walk speed. That gives a plus 5% walk speed. So they'll come into security, right? We've got checkpoints. They'll come up here. We've got baggage. And I need one remote right there. 
let's urgent that one so I can get it set. Uh, let's check what we need to hire. All right, they're going to be good. We'll need to hire 15 people there. I'm going to go ahead and hire a fifth janitor. And we'll hire out all of our retail people. All right. Slow this down to speed one, and this we will assign to these four bag scanners. Now, what I'm going to do here is we can expand this out and get quite a few more bag scanners in there. I'm thinking we can get four, maybe ten more in there, which should be more than enough. Go up. We'll have a cafe, first class lounge, flight crew lounge, restrooms. Why is this not accessible? They can get here. They can get here. This is open. Security is accessible. At least one security staff. Do I need to get one more guy? Oh, yeah. I need the guy for the desk or they won't work. All right. So then we have up and down here. The kitchen is accessible, so there's no reason that this is not accessible. A functional cafe. Let me speed it up, give it a few minutes. I'm not sure why that's telling me it's unaccessible. This is all open. Unless, no, the people are getting in there, so that should be fine. All right, up and down. Escalators. No wall. These people could get here. No wall there. Nothing down here. All my security people are in. I have an up and down here, right? The kitchen people got up here. Okay, I'm going to try something. I'm going to do that, and then we're going to replace the cafe. Assign to this kitchen here. All right, so that's fine. Okay, so sometimes that's what it is. All right, so this is going to be first class and flight crew. And this is female and male. Yeah. Sometimes if you set those zones ahead of time, they don't work. There you go. All right, so those are all accessible. Let's pause it. Cafe and kitchen are working. We're going to go up here. All right, let's raise all of our prices. Maximize that profit. Okay, do I need four more staff? Oh, hold on. So we need to go down. This is going to be B1, and we are going to assign this to all of those. And we will also assign it to the baggage depot. Make sure we have six baggage cars. That should be more than enough. What do I have in here? Fuel truck. You know what? And do I need to upgrade this with a fuel port? 
All right. Fuel port. I've got a fuel line there. So we want the fuel port over here. And utilities, fuel line. We will go right there. That'll get that up and running. All right, it is 8.05, so what we're going to want to do is right before midnight, we're going to want to, well, I'll tell you what, let's, let's go ahead and slow it down. Now, this is an extra large gate, but we don't have the extra large runway. So we can accept a 7.07, but let's start early morning. And this is on another, another line. So we have completely different security and everything else. So we're not going to overwhelm ticketing. All right. And we're going to give them two and a half hours for each one of these flights. We may not need that many. All right. We're going to take that 707. And we're going to take the 767, and that'll go up into the morning there. All right, so that'll get us a full runway there. They should have fuel tied up very shortly. I do want to let's slow it down one more time. All right, here's ticketing. All right, so they're going to go here down oh crap i did not do that yet uh jump the gun all right we're gonna go out and out damn it all right all right then from here this is already done. Okay, I just needed to do this middle part. All right. Oh, hold on. Utilities, conveyor, boom. And then in. Yeah, that should be good. And then everything should go on the return to baggage claim. All right. So we kind of want to start watching for tomorrow. Because tomorrow is going to be the big, the big thing. We're going to go a whole day with no construction. All right, 11. All right, let's pause it. Let's check today. Everything should be going smoothly, and it is. So we should get our day 46 pop up here momentarily. And there we go. We got the bonus. All right. Our first flight on the new runway comes in at 6 a.m. So we want to see people coming in, but we want to see them bypassing this ticketing and going down the escalators. That's what we want to see. Oh, I'm very nervous now. We've got a few hours. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right, here's our first people. Let's slow it down. All right, where is she going? She's going to the ticketing kiosk. All right. Let's see if anybody bypasses this. All right, who's this? A2, A1, all right. Everybody's going to security so far. Okay, we saw flight crew go down. All right, I'm going to speed it up till we see passengers actually going. Okay, here we go. All right, so our first passengers. 
All right, they come downstairs, milling around, down into ticketing. Good, there go the bags. Wow, none of these people are stopping at the ticketing desk. Okay, hold on. Um, assign to this ticketing area. Okay, we want to do that. Let me come up here. All right, you assign to ticketing. You assign to ticketing. You assign to this ticketing. And you assign to this ticketing. All right, now let's see what that does. All of those people already have tickets from up top, I guess. Here we go. Now we're seeing some people coming down here for ticketing. All right. Going through security. Baggage claims, good. Going upstairs. They're hitting the cafe hard. We've got first class, flight crew, bathrooms. We've got a gate area. All right, you know what we do need up here? I do have a PA system up here, but we need to put some benches up here. So, we'll drop some benches down in here. And we'll put that right there. Let's put a little bit of decor. Right there. A lot of people waiting to go down. I'm not too worried about that, though. We will probably add. We've got room for probably two more escalators here. We'll probably do that. In fact, I could probably do one now. Um, escalator down. Right there and right there. We're going to have to build our foundation out to there. Yep, I'm okay with this. All right, let's see. Let's pause and highlight. All right, we've got a lot of people all the way back here coming out of ticketing, I believe that that is. Yep. So just coming out of ticketing, but we have 107 minutes. So security is kind of the, the key thing here. All right, they're out of security with 74 minutes to spare. And there we go. So we took off about an hour early. So we're fine. I think we're fine there. All right, that's coming together. And yeah, we'll have, we'll help clear some of this out. As soon as that opens up. And in fact, I would like to eventually expand that out to there. Not sure what we'll do here. We'll probably actually put more gates on this side. And then I have room for stores down here. So that's all good. Okay, I want... Let's switch directions on you. So we've got two going up. Oh, and crap. No, 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 no. We need to deconstruct this extremely fast, and that needs to be urgent priority. All right, you know what? We're going to switch directions here. All right, now we'll switch directions again. All right, so there's... Plenty of escalators now.
And I guess I do need to put some more garbage bins up here, I suppose. Let's put a couple there. Fair enough. What I could do is I could come down here and we could extend this. I could extend this gate and we could put more gates down this way. But I think before we really do that, we're going to want... I'm just going to leave that alone for right now. I'm going to hire another janitor. Oh, you know what we could put over here? Let's put... Let's put some of these in there. Oh, we need to put an ATM in there. And we need to deconstruct right there. Do that. Do that. That. And our ATMs. And then we'll bring up this and we'll put this in as an arcade at this level. All right, so that'll get us some more money-making potential. Just out of curiosity, uh, $3,190 just today at that register. So almost 6000 bucks at that cafe. Nothing wrong with that. And let's check our kitchen. The only thing we don't have is the crisp. Okay, let's put another prep card in here. We've got room. We'll put it right there. And then, yeah, I think I would like, yeah, I want to extend this security area. So let's go ahead and get that done. We'll build that in. And then... We'll build up some more money. Oh, hold on. Yes, we hit the bonus. 44 flights. Jumps us up to 39,000. And that was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's instead of 33, we got 39. So that's good. So, all right, well, let's end the episode there. I'll add some stores up here probably next episode. We will build up some money. Uh, let's do one quick look. I'm pretty sure I've got two first-class lounges, right? I've got one there. Do I have one in the other terminal? Um... We could add one easy enough. So I need one, two, three, four, five. Let's build that. We'll build a first class lounge right here. And that should get that started. But that'll be next episode. Uh, and then I need to add in the stores as well. If you like what I'm doing here, if you like what you see and want to see more, hit the like button. That's how you support the channel. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you get notifications every time I upload a new Sim Airport video. And we'll see you guys next episode. Take care. Bye.